Okay, I'm inside a cave at Lava Beds. I forgot the name, but anyway, it's at the beginning of the video. We want to go back to the beginning of the video. Anyway, um, yeah, I've never been in this cave. I have no idea how far it goes. Looks a little bit tricky. Plus, my equipment's not really behaving. So anyway, oops, let me turn on my flashlight all the way so I get some light. Okay, I'm going to attempt to climb through here alive. Okay. My knee pads are misbehaving. My jacket's misbehaving. But, yeah. Once I'm done with lava beds, I'm basically going to throw away all this clothes and buy a new set for the different caves. Mm. So, see if I can finish up lava beds with this uh, knee pad that's been bothering me. Notice there's the entrance right there. Well, I think this cave's going to get too small for me. But let me see if I can work my way up there. Wow. So it branches out to left and right. I think they're both dead ends, but the only way to find out is to get up there and look. Wow. Not too many people come in this cave. I'm surprised. It's a good location. Well, I don't oh know. I was going to say it's e it was easy for me to find, but well, I've been in this area before. I don't think I ever found it, so maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Anyway. The entrance is kind of funny looking. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah. Boy, this cave is tight, which isn't so bad. Oh wow, looks like it gets bigger ahead. Maybe. Hard to tell. But we'll see. If it branches out too much, I don't want to risk getting lost. That would be stupid. So I'll have to be careful. If, it, if there's any risk, I'll lose track of where I am. I'll just have to give up and get out. Come back with more people or something. Okay, so to the right there, it's a dead end. It gets too small. To the left here, branches out again. Wow. I'm not sure if I should be impressed or scared. I'm almost thinking I should put on gloves. If I'm going to do much more crawling, I should put on gloves to protect my hands. I do have gloves with me, but it's not cold. Most of the caves around here, they're not really that bad. So it's easier to not wear them. But anyway, you know what? I think I'll almost see the full circle. I think I peeked in here from the other side. That's kind of neat. Wow. Okay, but I do have flat four flashlights with me, and of course GoPro batteries. Oh wow, I think I'm almost at the dead end. Oh, that's funny. Oh yeah, I know where that is. So I peeked through there. I saw those tree branches. And I'm like, how the heck did those get through there? Still have no idea. <laughs> and this ceiling. Look at even the walls. Look how rough the walls are. Very impressive looking. Look at that. Stuff like that is very fragile. So definitely want to make sure I don't touch it. But I'm staying near this one wall because this is where the cave is biggest. I want to make sure I have room to navigate. <sighs> I'm not really worried about getting stuck. You know, it's easier if I have room. Oh yeah, you know what? This is a dead end for real. I'll go a little farther so you can see for yourself. <laughs> okay, you know what? Boy, this cave is hard. All right, hang on. <sighs> oh yeah, this is absolutely a dead end. Okay, see? Dead end there. Dead end. <sighs> Dead end over there. Okay, well. Wait, this cave is hard. All right. You know what? I've been trying to go through every cave twice, but you know what? This cave isn't really worth the trouble. 
I think I'll just do this one time. Be lazy. Maybe I'll come back with better clothes. Be more ambitious. But there's some other caves around here I want to check out before it gets too late in the day. You know, the sun won't last forever. So, see what I can do about this. I'm backing up just because there wasn't really a good place to turn around. Well, yeah, there's not really a point. It would be nice to turn around and go forward, but whatever. It doesn't make that much difference in the grand scheme of things. Of course, is there a grand scheme of non-things? Hmm. Interesting. I have to ask a philosopher about how many different grand schemes there are. Uh, uh. Oh boy. Uh. The floor is so rough. I have to be careful not to damage it. There's a lot of sharp points. I don't want to break off by being rough with. It's too small in here for me to wear my backpack. So I have to bring my backpack along. In a smooth cave, I just drag it. I don't want to just drag it because it'll tear up the cave, tear up my backpack. So I'll do what I can to be gentle. <clears throat> Okay, wow. I think this is gonna be like the slowest cave video I've done in a long time. Notice the cracks in the wall there. So that's how air gets in and out of the cave. That's how moisture gets in and out of the cave. I don't know, maybe there's even some organisms. I don't know if bugs can crawl through there, but you know, maybe single cell stuff. Darn if I know. And nutrients too, you know, in the dirt. Wow. Uh, yeah, this game is really hard. Hopefully you're not getting bored listening to me struggle through it. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. So now I'm going downhill a little bit to where the floor of the cave is more like dirt than just really rough rock. Oops. <laughs> 